Welcome to Huntington Bank Stadium, home of the Minnesota Golden Gophers as we get set for what ought to be a terrific battle. Little gets the blood boiling. Quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see the number 23 team in the country, the Iowa Hawkeyes, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Minnesota Golden Gophers for EA Sports Cup. Offense getting set for first down. Going to the ground. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. This new Big Ten is balanced and deep, and you're not going to get many mulligans. You're going to need to get off to a quick start. And it's going to be a physical grind ahead. You look at the schedule for these teams, it's brutal. Each and every week, you are going to get tested. So it's important they get off to a really... Reels it in on the left side. Obliterates him, still on the move. Touchdown, Hawkeye! and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can... Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, he lets one fly deep. He's got it inside the 30. Nothing but green grass down the middle. Touchdown, Iowa! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defenses all year long. And now on second down for this offense. Looking for a man. It's McNamara. Looking to the big tight end. It's complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And the Hawkeyes with the first and ten. Back to the air one more time. Throws toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. This rivalry between Iowa and Minnesota even... Free time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Hand off to the single back. Fights off a defender. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who would have thought a bronze pig could turn two level-headed fan bases into emotional tornadoes? But that's exactly what you get in the fight for the Floyd of Rosedale Trophy. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that, let's send it back to the guys to see how the fight between Minnesota and Iowa plays out.
Iowa has the ball back on offense. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. And his throw is incomplete. And when you're a quarterback, man, I know wide receivers are great athletes and they're supposed to catch everything that gets near them, but when you don't put it right on the center, when they're running a lot of times, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. And I think he did that a little bit too much for his wide receiver right there. And he's brought down after a nice game. This is an offense that really sees... Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. He's going to pass. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. Hey, man, they've got a big lead on offense. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Fighting off the defender. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The give is to Williams. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy. In the After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. Throws to the tight end. Got it in the middle, it's Hoffman. And he's knocked down immediately, but they're in the red zone at the 14. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. They're going to run it. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! And the beatdown has ensued. With that, the lead nice and comfortable, and they're cruising toward a 4-0 start. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas. Iowa has the ball back on offense. They have dropped a hush on this entire stadium, David, by controlling this game. And there's nothing like shutting up the home crowd. You love it. Nothing like having a big lead in the fourth quarter, Palmer, and not having to stress or worry. Yeah, really impressive just seeing how they're able to take everything from the practice field this week and apply it to game day. They've been locked in all week with the game plan, running and throwing the football, man. This has been impressive. And that's a good stop for this defense. And listen, there hasn't been a lot of positive today, but like, let's finish this. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. The give is to Williams. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. The Hawkeyes will snap it on first and ten. They'll go to the counter. At the 45 on his way. He's running free down the middle. Touchdown, Iowa. And the route is on. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to re... You know what's great about rivalry games? Each side hates every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. 
Figuratively speaking, of course, and when you win, oh, oh, is that sweet. It's glorious to, to be able to brag, to be able to text message your buddies, to be able to post stuff on social media. It's a lot of fun. I think fans like it more than anybody, but it's something that you every year you have a couple games start. This was one of them, Jesse. They took care of business, and now you move on to the next. They really did, and we saw some great individual efforts in this game by the winning team, too. So cool to see some of these players that have had terrific collegiate careers make some of the biggest plays of their lives in this game, in a rivalry game that just means so much. This was a fun one to call. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.